This is the solution video for section 8.1, problem number 14. Consider the curve y equals 1 over x squared for uh, x between 1 and 6. Calculate the area under the curve. All right, so y equals 1 over x squared. All right, so what does that look like? Well, you should know what y equals 1 over x looks like. y equals 1 over x. That's a pretty common function, right? Something like this and this. All right, but y equals 1 over x squared, well, is basically the same thing, but now... Uh, this part over here on the left gets flipped up. Now, we would know that there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, and if you plug in uh, 0 from the left or 0 from the right, you're approaching positive infinity, so you're going to have a graph that goes up like this on both sides. And as x approaches positive infinity, or as x approaches negative infinity, you're going to get 0 from above, right? So you, you should be able to reason through that this is the graph. But what do we care about? Well, we only really care about this portion over here on the right because we're looking for the area from 1 to 6. All right, so this is a pretty straightforward question. We are integrating the 1 over x squared with respect to x from 1 to 6, right? So that's, that's really a pretty, pretty easy integral. All right, what is 1 over x squared? It's actually x to the negative second. So if I integrate that, I get x to the negative third. Sorry, not negative third. X to the negative first over negative one. And we're going to evaluate from one to six, right? So that means what? I have negative, right, one. Or sorry, negative, well, negative times six to the negative first minus negative, right, one to the negative first, right? So that would be negative one six plus one one over one, right? Which is like adding six over six. And so I get five over six, right? So that is the area under that curve, right? So that's part A, all right? Really not that bad, all right? But then part B, this is kind of weird. Determine C so that the line X equals C bisects the area from part A. All right, so I'm gonna draw this again, right? Here's the area from part A, all right? One to six, all right? Now, C is some value here where the vertical line bisects, meaning these two areas are equal, right? So if those two areas are equal, what does that mean? Well, there's a couple things it could mean. You could write that the integral from 1 to c of 1 over x squared dx is equal to the integral from c to 6 of 1 over x squared dx, right? So that's one way you could say it. Now, the other way you could say it, well, you know the total area is 5 6, and so you could say that the integral from 1 to c of 1 over x squared dx plus the integral from c to 6 of 1 over x squared dx is equal to 5 over 6. So either way, you're going to have basically the same equation. All right, so I'm going to choose the one on the first one that I did. All right, so it's important to remember when I have the integral, the definite integral, uh, x is not a variable in this equation, right? Very, uh, x is a variable in the individual expression. But remember, when you integrate, you get negative x to the negative first, right, from 1 to c. Not 6, sorry, from 1 to c. And then over here, you get negative x to the negative first from c to 6, right? So remember, x is no longer a variable because now you're going to plug in. So you're going to get negative c to the negative first minus negative 1 to the negative first. And then that's going to equal negative 6 to the negative first minus negative c to the negative first. I don't know why I used parentheses there and I didn't over here. Right? So either way. All right. So now notice this is an equation where c is the only variable in the equation, all right? So now, what does this mean? Well, this means negative 1 over c plus 1 equals negative 1 over 6 plus 1 over c, all right? And so now you have an equation involving only c. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by c just to make it easier. So I have negative 1 plus c equals, uh, actually, Let's multiply by 6c just to get rid of the denominators altogether. All right, so if I do that, I get negative 6 plus 6c equals, and then this would become negative c um, and plus 6, plus 6, right? All right, so now I'm going to solve. So I'm going to add c to both sides, so I get 7c, and I'm going to add 6 to both sides, so I get 12. So c is equal to 12 
sevenths. All right. Now, you also want to just glance back at the graph and make sure that that makes sense. Right? Here's 1, here's 6. C should be somewhere in between 1 and 6, but think about it closer to 1 than to 6. Right? So 12 sevenths obviously is uh, less than 2, right? so that would be true. All right.